Hello and welcome back to The Colony with Man of the Ants. We are back in a, the outer wilds. It's been a little while again. Uh, apologies for that again. It's going to keep happening, I'm afraid, in the short term. But here we are. We are back. Last time we made our way to the vessel of the Nomai. Uh, we found it, finally. We then also couldn't get inside it. There were a few very useful comments on the last video. First of all, one of the developers of the VR mod uh, pointed out that I was one of the first people to notice they'd rotated Timber Hearth. So I think I pointed out that the... Um, the thing you can see where the the uh, the, the firing of the um, device, the Namai device, you can see in the sky, they changed it so it's a bit more obvious when you're in VR, because otherwise it's a little, you're sort of looking over there, and unless you're looking at the exact position, the second that you load up, <clears throat> you'll miss it immediately. So that's something nice. Look at me being actually useful for once. As you may be able to tell, I have a little bit of a cough. If you've been looking at the... Uh, the community page and everything. I, I have had COVID for I had COVID for a little while. I no longer have it, but it has left me with a bit of an annoying cough. So apologies if any of that gets caught on camera and I miss it, or there may just be a bit of some some weird little gaps in the the vocal audio where I have to mute myself while I have a small coughing fit. These things happen. Um, right, right. Let's put this on to start with. Uh, I have had to drop these settings down a little bit. Something else you may have noticed if you've been in the... Uh, oh, how do I recenter my camera? Because I don't feel like I'm in the right place. Does it matter? Probably not. Let's go. And then we are looking for Dark Bramble. Which should be, I believe... I'm still not used to it being in a different position. It freaks me out a little bit. I think it'll be over here somewhere. We'll have a look around anyway. I might need to get used to the uh, new timber hearth positioning. It's not that. It's not... Oh, is that it? Mm, the Atle Rock. Was that? No, that's just the moon, isn't it? No, oh, there it is. There it is. Boop, 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 boop. Right. Something else, someone, and apologies, I can't quite see the names on my screen um, from where I am, but something someone else pointed out was that the, uh... Oh, no, that's what I wanted. The, um, the angle, angler fish inside Dark Bramble, they'll detect your movement thrusters, so when you're going forward, backwards, and strafing, they'll detect those, but they won't detect your right stri uh, stick kind of rotational thrusters. So that's, that's good to know, that I can actually move around a little bit. Am I going too fast? At least I'm not going to smack into it if I go too fast. I'm just going to sort of glide past it very gently. Look at that. That's not too bad. Right. Into Dark Bramble we go. And then we try to remember how we did this last time. Oop, not that. Not that. Just trying to remember how to use everything. I can't remember how to use anything. I thought it was left and right on the old, uh... Okay. Okay, that'll do. You actually have to click on the arrows. Is that new? It, it, the ship looks a little bit scale different to uh, how I remember it, and I can't can't tell if that's just me being an idiot and being in a slightly different position, but it does it does feel different. Maybe it's just because I haven't played VR very much. Right, so we're going through here. And then we're going to go down here somewhere. And then through the next one will be the anglerfish, I don't know, mating grounds? Is that how we're going to refer to it in a completely gross way? I think so. I think that's what we're going to do. Ooh. Careful. Be a skillful pilot. Oh, it's gone around it. Oh, we've gone straight to this. Okay. And then from here, then, we need to follow these little shiny globes. Well, they're not globes, are they? They're rectangles. Completely different. 
it's up here, yeah. Oh wait, no. Okay, yeah. How did I do this last time? I fired a probe inside it. Is that what I did? I might even have to go look it up. Let's see if I can remember. Let's see if I can remember. Otherwise, I will just go look it up. Cause I can't waste too much time doing stuff that I've already done repeatedly. Right. Oh wait, nope. What am I doing? The ship has a has a probe, doesn't it? I don't need to get out. I don't need to get out. We just need to position ourselves. Let's try there. It must have gone, right? Oh no, that's the wrong button. How do I just get it to take picture? Oh, it's just the same button again, isn't it? No, I think it just went straight past. I think it just went straight past. Then we need to go down a little bit. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay. Nope. Oh, so close. There we go. There we go. Yeah, now it's taken us into the, uh, what, I've, what I've now referred to as the mating grounds. So I will never be able to not call it that. I'm sorry if I've ruined the game for everyone. Oops, hello. Okay, so this is where we're going to have to be a bit, bit quiet. So I'm going to try and go in here with a bit of velocity. We can look around. Oh, I'm going to hit that one. Is that a problem? That feels like that's going to be a problem. Were they always this close? This terrifyingly close? With their huge teeth? I feel like I should have got more of a run-up, to be honest. Like, how... If I'm not going fast enough, I don't know why everything's shaking so much. I don't know what's going on there. Or what's going on with the... Uh, like I said, I did drop the graphics quality down a little bit, but that was a bit of a weird lighting issue. If I'm not actually got enough speed, how do I... How do I? Like, I'm no longer moving. But if I move... I feel like I definitely should have just got more of a run-up, shouldn't I? Let's just do a little bit. Where I definitely should have actually been facing towards... Just gonna run, just gonna run, just gonna run, just gonna run, just gonna run. Ooh! Did I make it? I absolutely did. Ho 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 ho! That must have been close. That must have been very close. <clears throat> right. So. I can put that away now. How do I get rid of this? There we go. Was it this bit? It was somewhere in this break, I think, wasn't it? Was it? Must have been. Let's get out and have a little look around. No, that door's not going to open, is it? It's definitely somewhere. Oh, there it is. There it is. So somewhere around here, there is an entrance into the ship. And when I see it, I will kick myself for missing it. And as what I've been told, it's not just a little corridor over there, is it? So I definitely didn't see that. Oh, come on, you clown. You clown. Yep. Nope. I'm kicking myself. I think it was Scott. Was it Scott that said that? Yeah, it was Scott. I'm going to just about to see Scott's name. You are correct, Scott. I'm an idiot and I'm kicking myself for missing it. How did I miss an entire corridor? So what do we do here? 
across one of these, uh, or a couple of these ball sort of mechanisms. Oh, this looks broken. We've got to find a repaired one of these, I'm guessing, maybe? Well, that's fine. Can we take it out, I suppose, is the question. Yes, we can. Oh, it's the warp core. Oh, where did we see... Where did we see... A, how? Hang on, was that... That was in the... The device, wasn't it? Like, the, the, the Nomai... Resurrection device. If we take it out... If we take the warp core out of there, we're no longer going to be able to resurrect. So is that what someone meant when they said... You'll know when you're in the last loop, I wonder. To any of my clans whose vessels can hear this message, it's clear the universe is dying. There are fewer and fewer resources and safe places within, within space now, so my clan and I believe the best option is for all of our clans to stay together. If you can reach the Glomin galaxy, we found that Black Ro Blackrock's suns are fairly stable and, live in, and life in this star system is, oops, comparatively thriving. We live in a relative, we live in relative safety. Sorry, I'm apparently I can't read today either. If you prefer to continue exploring alone, know you will be on your own. Kana, we're making our way to you. It's good to hear from you, Bromai. We'll watch for your vessel. Has anyone heard from Neem? His clan was on its way to our vessel, but they never arrived. And he hasn't sent any messages. I'm beginning to worry. That is unsettling. It reminds me of that old myth my grandfather used to tell, the disappearing of Eskel. I remember hearing that story as a child. One day, Eskel's vessel simply stopped responding. The other clans searched and searched, but found no trace. It was as if their missing friends had warped out of existence. That's no myth, friends. Eskel's clan existed, and their story was real. What a curious event to have passed into myth. Our ancestors, ancestors, were told that story when they were young. Are you sure it's true, Hisop? It was a very long time ago, but yes, my clan's ancestors searched for Eskel's clan for a long time, but in the end, none of them were ever seen again. It's the only time in our history a vessel has ever disappeared in this way. Hisop, I hope you aren't comparing Eskel's story to my clan's vessel. Neem, my friend, we feared you were gone. Not yet, we aren't, but nearly. We found trouble during our warp. The triple suns of the bright spark star system exploded, and it was only a lucky coincidence we weren't caught in the blast. We'll meet you soon, Karna. I'm relieved your clan is safe, Neem. It's good to hear your words. Any vessels nearby, remember to be extremely cautious of potential unstable stars, which is most of them now, of course. Okay. This is Eskel's vessel. This is Eskel's vessel. Wait, what? Something went badly wrong during our warp and our vessel is mortally wounded. We need help as quickly as possible. Our vessel appears to have, has it fused with the local environment somehow? There are vines that are now part of the vessel. It's been torn apart from the inside. We are abandoning our vessel. Any of my clans or space flight capable species receiving this message, I implore you, we need your help. Is this broken? Can anyone hear me? Our vessel is dying. We need immediate assistance. Is this Eskel's vessel? So this is the vessel that was lost to the Nmai generations ago. Is that what that's saying? I mean, the vines match with all the, uh, the, the brambles, obviously. Okay. Let's, uh... Oh, we're facing this way, so we'll move this left first, of course. But I'm not really expecting much to happen, because the warp core is broken. Okay. Although well, that did something. What is going on here? Huh. 
<laughs> Can't say I quite understand exactly what I'm doing here. And also, it still might not make any difference, of course. Um... What am I doing? What if we just go around the outside? No, we can't. Hmm. Oh. What? Hang on, what? I don't understand at all what just caused this to move. And again, I'm still not in any way sure it's going to make any difference. So there's another one over here. Yes, yeah, so it's just the three of them. It's replaced whatever was on this platform before. That one just went all around the outside, and then suddenly it worked. Maybe I'm supposed to go back down afterwards. Is that what I did? Let's get rid of... Right. Ah, yes. That's what it was. Just got to light them all up in any way you can, and then do that. <clears throat> But obviously nothing's going to happen because we don't have any power. Hmm. Just took a picture. Somehow. Okay. Oh, there's a downstairs. Hello, downstairs. What are you? What are you? Well, I can read you, can't I? Hang on. Give me one second, just so I can cough a little bit. Okay, coughing done. I'm recording now. I've never encountered anything like this. The signal the vessel is receiving appears to be older than the universe itself. This is our first contact with anything of this nature. Everyone prepare to warp immediately. Eskel, wait. I need more time to send an outgoing message. Shouldn't we tell another clan where we're going? We can send the message upon our arrival. This extraordinary signal appeared suddenly. It may disappear just as quickly, and we can't lose a discovery this incredible. Focus on preparing for the warp instead. I understand. An Anona, is the vessel ready to warp to the signal's approximate coordinates? The warp core is powered, but this will be a significant jump. Afterward, we'll need time to recharge the core. I shouldn't create a problem, provided we arrive at or near the signal source. Everyone, we're ready to warp. <clears throat> oh, that's my shadow. I wonder what that was. And then we have whatever this is. What is this? I can't interact with it. I wonder if I can interact with it when there's power. So, I wonder if that's Eskel then. Or would that be Anonna, perhaps, as it's by the warp core? Thoughts and prayers. So we have a broken warp core. I'm pretty sure a warp core was what powered the resurrection device. That was interesting. That was interesting, though. So this is Eskel's vessel, which disappeared generations ago. Somehow they were able to pick up messages. So these are kind of like galactic message boards. 
that anyone can read, but no one met, they wasn't able to pick up the messages until maybe they actually time traveled as part of their um, warp into Dark Bramble. <clears throat> or maybe Dark Bramble messes with time itself. Ah. Someone, perhaps Scott, who's been very helpful in the comments, did say when you do your last run, your last loop, it'll take about an hour. So I wonder if time doesn't move in Dark Bramble, by which I mean I wonder if we'll explode when the sun goes, or if we are outside of that loop within this vessel. The time obviously passes, because people have died, but maybe we're in a, in a different like time zone, or outside of the current time zone, or just something's happened, you know? Interesting. Interesting. So I think... Oops. Hello. I think we're about ready to start the final loop. I can't believe I missed that. That's such an idiot move. I can't remember how to um, rotate. It's like a button combination in VR. But I can't remember what it is now. What I think I'll do is I'll head back to the ship. Hopefully before I die. Read the log, leave it there on the assumption that this is the setup to the final loop. Get in the warp core and get in into here. We need to do within like the, was it 21 minutes that we have before the sun explodes? But maybe once you're in here, you're safe. That's my, that's my working theory. That's my working theory. It doesn't refill your fuel when you come in here. Is there no way to refu refill your fuel? Maybe if you take your suit off and on again? No. Is there a way to refill your fuel? Don't know. It's not really important for them right, right here and now. The vessel. We have finally got an entry for the vessel. How long has that taken? <clears throat> I found the derelict of my vessel deep within Dark Bramble. The vessel's warp core is long dead. I activated a three-sided pillar on the vessel's bridge that appears to uh, be some sort of input device. The Namai tried to call for help, but the vessel's outgoing message system broke during the crash. Ah, oh, so they can't send messages out, but they can get them in. I see. So they could see other people talking about them, perhaps. The remaining of my clan to regroup in response to the impending death of the universe, which we sort of, I think I touched on that last time. I found a recording of the original signal the Namai encountered from the eye of the universe. The Namai were worried the signal might disappear, so they walked before they could tell another clan where they were going. Yes, yeah, so I think I, I think I briefly touched on that. Um, we can't really see it from here, but I watched the beginning of, I think it was Up Is Not Jump's video, which I didn't watch the end of. I think I watched about halfway, then he sort of started getting into bits of Outer Wilds I haven't touched yet so I immediately stopped the video <clears throat> but I think it's him that mentioned all the little explosions you can see in the sky are just the reason you can see so many of them is because the universe has reached the it's like end of its lifespan essentially and the stars are just dying all over the place so just in case I didn't mention it I just wanted to mention that which is what the Namai were uh, exploring the universe for to try and figure out a way of surviving which means we as a species the hearthlings Came in at a really stupid time. What a time to evolve as a species during the death of the universe. So there are no... Like, where's the little green markers saying, isn't it a little, don't they usually have little green markers on them saying like, oh, you have more to explore here. I'm sure I had like a couple of those and surely the vessel has more. Okay, where is the Ash Twin project? Hollowed out chamber, da 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 da. There is an advanced warp core inside the protective casing at the center of the planet. Removing the core will disable the Ash Twin project. There's a very specific reason it says that, isn't there? So we know for sure now, I would say, that that is what we need to do. And that's going to be our final loop, because if we survive long enough, 
that the sun explodes, that's it. What happens, I wonder, if you take the warp core out and then you die before you get to Dark Bramble? Oh, hold on. Hold on. Well, the sun just exploded. Which we could very clearly hear from within Dark Bramble. Oh, here it comes. I was wondering if we were going to go or not. Yep. So we're not outside of that loop. So how do you survive for an hour? And if we take the warp core out and we don't finish whatever we're trying to do with the vessel, maybe you actually warp somewhere. Maybe you actually warp the vessel outside of Dark Bramble and into, like, populated Namai. Well, no, they won't be populated because the species seems to have been dead for thousands and probably millions of years based on the fact that when they observed us as heartlings, we were just like little lizards crawling around a pool. Oh... Oh, that's interesting. So how do you survive for an hour without the warp core? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. But we've got a plan next time then. So it's a relatively short video. Ideally, I probably would have done that in the last one had I seen that corridor. But I don't think we've got time now to worry about getting the core, get into Dark Bramble, get into the ship, replacing the warp core, and then doing whatever it is we need to do. I wonder if replacing the warp core fixes the outgoing message system. But then no one's used an incoming message for so long. Like, what is the end of this? How does this game end? The universe is dying and the Mai are dead. Our sun is about to explode. How do we stop any of this? Absolutely fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. <clears throat> huh, okay. Well, we're going to leave that there then. So next time... Next time I'm going to have to go back and watch my video on how we got to the Ash Twin project. Because we had to wait... Had to wait for the sand uh, to, to lower... To use the teleporter... To get inside to the... That was it, wasn't it, I think? So you already have to wait, like, what, like, five, six minutes, something like that? To get the core, to get even get into where the core is. And then you need to get to Dark Bramble. So it's going to be about ten minutes, I'd, I'd hazard a guess at. Uh, just getting the core into Dark Bramble and into the vessel. At which point... You only have, like, a very short window of time to actually survive. And do whatever you need to do. I'm really just genuinely fascinated. You can probably tell, by the way, I'm just rambling about it. Fascinated to figure out how that's going to work and what's going to happen. We will find out next time in the Outer Wilds. Ho, 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 ho. Massive thank you to Andy for gifting this to me, like, two years ago now, however long it's been. It's been a little while, but thank you, Andy. That's hugely appreciated, of course. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button, comment, subscribe, all those good things. Don't forget I stream on Wednesdays at 7.15 p.m., UK time, currently playing Elden Ring, which is about as far removed from the Outer Wilds as you can get, but it's still a huge amount of fun, and you die a relatively similar amount, I guess. So yeah, there is a link between them, it works, it works, it's okay, I'll figure it out, I'll figure it out, I got a tenuous link together. Hopefully I'll see you at the stream, otherwise I'll see you next time in the Outer Wilds, and as always, thank you very much for joining me.